Dead Creek Valley, buddy! Why the hell did I say that? Well, that's the valley that we're in. Red Creek Valley. And it's a beautiful valley. Unfortunately, it's completely tainted by multiple murders. And we've got to solve this whole puzzle of murders, like one murder at a time. So let's, now before we head on farther into the game, which is that way, I told you that I wanted to go back to the beginning because I missed a puzzle back here. And I'm not gonna spoil it for you, so but let's just say we should explore the forest a little bit, right? <laughs> let's explore. So I showed you this path, you know, that just kind of goes, that wraps around. Um, but let's explore the whole forest. It's important to explore, and you, you generally have to, you don't really get the full story unless you do um, all of your exploring. So let's get our looting and shooting on. Ah, there's another trunk. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I didn't realize it was right there, but sure enough. By the way, we couldn't have fallen into that trap. Okay, let's sense the trap, find out what's going on with it. So, you get the idea. We have to kind of piece that whole picture together. And once we do, then we'll be able to figure out where that picture is and find it somewhere in the wilderness here. Okay, pretty flowers. That's nice. <laughs> okay. So, a trap, that's... I wonder if there's anything up here. Now, and those rocks kind of prevent you from going any further, by the way. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. Anything over here. Ah! That was close. I wonder if it would have killed me. <laughs> I don't think so. And actually, I don't think you can die in this game, which makes it less creepy, but more macabre. Okay, let's hold this one. Aha! Na 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 na. There, see, there's the second part of the picture. Okay. Uh, let's go through here, maybe. Ah, there's the third one. Okay, let's... Those are really nasty traps, huh? Very gruesome indeed. Okay, let's... Aha! Now we're starting to get a picture. Ooh, are those skulls? They are. They're sculling. Things. It almost looks like... It's somewhere down here, or like over over that away somewhere. Okay, so trap, trap, trap. We still got a few more traps to find. Well, they must be here somewhere. Let's find the traps. There's the trap right there. We just haven't sprung it yet. Okay. Let's hold, and now we get the fourth one, right? One, two, three, four. Only one to go, which is the center. Where would that trap be? Let's just look around. See, you just have, to, is that it? No. Maybe we can, it's another one of the swinging traps. Huh, I don't see any traps. The last one is always the toughest to find. I bet that's gonna be, what? <laughs> It was a bear trap. <laughs> okay. And... <gasps> Look at all the skeletons. Oh my god. They're all dead. Holy horseshit. That's one massacre. Oh, and there's a note. Okay, let's... Let's read the note. I don't think we can go anywhere else, right? Hey, this is actually the same place that we were. It's just a different time. See, there's skulls everywhere. Okay, let's read it. Um, ooh, cool. Check this out. It's a note from Ethan Carter. The story is called Sap. I'll read it really quick. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the tree. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believe this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest. He wasn't great on his grammar. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. 
When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. <laughs> Whoa. And then he drew a picture of what happened. That is really bizarre. And by the way, if you can't read the note, you can press this and then you get the text a version of it. Let's see. Okay, let's accept it. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Grant, hmm. I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Oh, Thank you. It was just, just a story. Just leave it. I'll read it later. So, I think, obviously, what happened, or the way that I, uh, the way that I ascertain this is that he, we just stepped into a window of Ethan's imagination, but that's not what really happened. See, because here we are now, and there's no skeletons. He probably got the idea from this. Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley. Family of six was asleep. Oh, I see. Oh, Gail Carter, who is probably his father or his grandfather or somebody. Carter's husband, he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe that was his way of coping with the death of his grandfather is to write a story about it. Did you see that butterfly? He disappeared. I don't like disappearing butterflies. It creeps me out. Just as much as skeletons. Okay, so let's head out. Um, we're going to fast travel like all the way to the end of the tracks. And... Here we are at the end, just before that rock slide. So the way around the rock slide is to just move around this rock face. And the music changes because we entered a enchanted forest with enchanted frogs. Ooh, I love this music, don't you? This could work in Elder Scrolls. Yeah, it definitely could work in Elder Scrolls. Okay, so here's the other side of the tracks. Are there any clues to continue the search? No. Well, there's another set of uh, rail cars. That's interesting. Now, before we head on this way, you see that um, if we keep moving, we'll eventually reach that dam. But we haven't explored this forest yet, so let's check out the forest. Okay. And what do we get? We get not much. Let's just take our time and make sure we don't miss anything. Because uh, you can, there's a lot to inspect around here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Things just keep getting more and more interesting. God, I love these graphics, don't you? These uh, rocks are very convincing, especially with the moss all over them. Uh, maybe there's not much to explain. Oh, what's this? Aha! There is something. We almost missed this. Okay, what is it? Aha, I see. Okay. Well, that's easy. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. And... Whoa! What the hell? An astronaut in a pressure suit. Oh, boy. It's either hazmat suit or a... No, it's a pressure suit. It's an astronaut for sure. Okay, let's follow him around. Psst. Wait, I lost him. Damn it, where'd he go? Oh, oh, there he is. Okay, let's keep following the astronaut. Oh, cute. You know, and it's made by the astronauts. The developer's name is the astronauts. Maybe that's why it's an Easter egg. Okay, let's keep following him. I get it. Okay. And then he's gonna go that away, and he'll appear over there. Ha! I got it. I gotcha. Yep. Oh no, I. Okay, there he is. Boy, it's easy to lose him. Oh, there he is. Hi! Whoa! And he. He kind of uh, lured me into another part of the valley. What is he doing? It's amazing. Whoa! It's a space core! What the hell is... Whoa! Now that is not 
what I expected to see in the middle of a beautiful forest. Holy crap. That is creepy. Okay, well, let's... Uh, I guess the only way to uh, move along is to walk right underneath it, right? We'll get sucked up like Mothership Zeta. We're inside. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Contact. That spherical ball that Jodie Foster wound up in. Oh my god, look where we are. We're in orbit. Whoa. Where in not? How bizarre. And we're, yep, we're in a wormhole. We're in that sphere that creates a wormhole. It's just like contact. <laughs> Whoa. I'm Jodie Foster, hurling toward Vega. That is just bizarre. And by the way, if you haven't seen Contact, you should watch it. It feels exactly like Contact. Wow. See, and they look like a bunch of little space cores floating in space. There's a galaxy. So now what? That is really freaking weird. Ah, there's a note. Okay. Read it. Okay. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Hmm. And what about... Oh yeah, okay. Then when the light stopped, so did... It did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circuit, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trees and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast-like walls. As the ground had disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Well, that's a likely story. Too bad I Get don't believe it. Get out of my it. room, Travis! Stories, stories, uh -huh. always with the stories. Get out! That's what I, I thought. I the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. We were in his imagination again. That's what it was. See? I told you. Look! Ah! That's where he got the idea from, like, this pulp sci-fi. It's like pulp science fiction. And then he wrote Gaylord all over it. And then see, you can also read what, what it really says. And then it says that Travis defaced it with Gaylord. It was Travis though, not not Ethan. Interesting. Okay, so Whoa. And then that was the original one that we just read in the spaceship. Okay. Well, since we went halfway to Vega and back to Earth again, why don't we just end here? I'm kind of exhausted. Alright, so if you like this one you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all these vanishing of Ethan Carter videos in your inbox. And click the like button if you liked it too. Uh, and add a comment. That really helps me out a lot, okay? We'll see you next time in Red Creek Valley. Thanks for watching.